All right, chat, we're hopping into Tarkov. We have exactly one goal. One goal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change to do up. Today, our one entire goal is to hit level 40, which is a thing we have never done in Tarkov. Level 40 or bust. And by bust, I mean I'm gifting five subs if we don't hit level 40 today. I've never hit level 40 before. We're doing it. It's the entirety of the goal. I'm gonna do some behind the scenes stuff in Tarkov real quick. And then we'll and then we'll uh, we'll get into some raids. So, uh, Connor says panic, panic. What are we panicking about? Panic. Don't panic. Why don't you just do it? I can show you in a second. I think we're like 60k, so we have to get a quest done, a couple quests done, in order to progress to level 40. Honest to God, here's what's happening. I'm a little bit scared that uh. I'm a little bit scared that we're not going to hit level 40 if we don't do it today because I think we're finally approaching the time period where literally any time, any day, tomorrow, there could be potentially a wipe for Tarkov and then we would start over. I don't think it's tomorrow. I think we'll have a little bit more warning than that, but um, generally they like uh, they change things up a little bit for a couple days beforehand, so... We may have a couple days notice. We may have no, no notice at all. But, uh, but I think we really gotta probably focus up and uh, get some stuff done. So, um, let's see here. Why don't you just do it? Just do it. All right, let's sell some stuff here. Let's look at let's look at the thing. I need forty eight thousand experience today. Forty eight thousand experience today on stream. We're doing it. Uh, I'm gonna look at quests here in a second. We'll and we'll check out what I what we need to do to make that happen. But um, yeah, guys. Speaking of all this this fitness talk we're we're talking about, um. This is a big week for us. This is a big weekend for us. I've got, uh, I've, I've mentioned it probably way too many times and you guys all are aware of this, but um, I'm running, uh, I'm running a half marathon this week. So it's been forever since I have done a, uh, it's been forever since I've done a race and a running race and I have a half marathon this weekend. I'm excited, super excited. Also, I'm like in the normal state, which is like slightly nervous. Um, I know, right, Mars? It's complete. It's a complete shock to anybody who's paid any attention to the stream. I've talked about it. I don't know, constantly, um, forever. <laughs> but you're doing a marathon? No, I'm not doing a marathon. I'm doing a half marathon, motherfucker. <clears throat> so there's a difference. God damn it! What is this TNT good for? Oh, okay. What's max level in this game? Uh, there is no max level in this game. Um, it goes it goes up forever. So, um, yeah, goes up forever. Um, I have never lit, hit level forty before. This would be the first. This would be the first wipe uh, we do it if we do it in the next little bit. We are fucking cranking in the money though. Holy shit, we have four and a half million. I should probably buy some more graphics cards. Okay, at the end of stream today, I'll buy more graphics cards. Even if the wipe happens, we should just have money to put in graphics cards so that we have extra extra money. Um, okay, I need to buy some fuel. If you don't get level infinity today, I will eat my toes. This is the kind of energy I'm looking for in chat today. Yeah, yeah. I said if I don't hit level 40, I'll give five subs. Dink says, I can one-up you on both accounts, my friend. If you don't get level infinity today, I'll eat my toes. So the real question I have for you, Dinks, is are you going in dry or are you... Uh, that's a weird way to phrase that. Or are you going to use some sauces? What's your like? What's your level of... Uh, what's your plan for like... Uh, are you going to are you gonna smoke your toes? Or are you going to fry them? What's the, what's the plan? Because I'm not hitting level. No lube to consume my little piggies. I'm starting to become concerned about Dinks' mental health. Um, in a very unrelated note, I'm starting to become concerned about Dinks's mental health. No lube to consume my little piggies. Uh, uh, 
my, my, minor minor concern. I, I would say I am I am currently feeling minor concern. Um, yeah. Thanks. Quit saying things I want to permanently document. <laughs> they come from my soul. They come from the soul. All right, so that should be everything done for hideout. We have some uh, insurance to get as well. A couple days left. Okay. So, all right, let's take a look. What's the game plan, chat? Character. We need easy quests, but we need quests that total up to 48,000 experience. Probably 40,000 experience. What's that one do? Um, Spa Tour Part 4 is doable for sure. That gives us 10,000 experience right there. Okay. That one's not going to be able to do. Yo, I could even do this one. It's only 6,000 experience, though. Oh, fuck. I think I may have... Uh, I would give that one a... A slow little... A slow... Not a great option. Um, not going to happen today. That one doesn't get us any experience. Yeah, this is the problem, Surprise. We already have two for Dinks, as of yesterday. Dinks was being a musician last night. It was an experience... I'm so mad. The uh, I was not awake when Dink started to. Uh, I was not awake when Dink started to stream. What did we stream last night, Dinks? Silent Caliber could be reached today, and that gives us twelve thousand, which would give us total twenty thousand. Oh God, stress resistance gives us twenty. How much damage do I have to take to do stress resistance? Maybe we just push factories, literally no matter what, until we get that. I was writing music. Why do you want to be level 40? This is a great... Do you guys see what just happened? You know how I was asking Connor why he loves history earlier? What it, what about it appeals to him? Strawberry's like, okay, what about level 40? Why do you want to be level 40? Why I would like to be level 40, Strawberry, is it would signify to me that I have, I have progressed as a Tarkov. Whether or not it actually has, whether or not I actually have, it would signify to me that I have progressed as a Tarkov player. I probably have not. I'm probably worse than I ever was, but uh, I it would it would signify a certain something. So, oh, I think we might have to do a reserve run because I could do this one too, and that's nine thousand right there. Okay. Um. Yeah. It just it would be like pring in the half marathon. Whether or not that actually means you're the fittest you've ever been, like this weekend. It would potentially mean that uh, I... Ooh, we could do gunsmith if we run out of things to do. That's easy, actually. Okay, fuck, fuck yeah, let's go. That's an easy way to easy way to, to get the experience. All right, we're level 40 no matter what then. All right, cool. In that case, I have the... Uh, I have the, the chance to just do whatever the fuck I want. Great, we're going to do shotguns then. Um... We're going to do shotguns and go from there. Someone's too confident? No, I can do it. There's one quest that I can do that uh, I think will work no matter what. So I'm confident. Maybe too confident, sure. But I think I can do it uh, almost no matter what. Um, if we chuck that there. We have propital. We need heals. Uh, sounds good, Mars. Mars says meeting time. Sounds good. I like Mars's idea here, which is that we have to have limits on this stream, but um, yes, technically I have the power to completely step beyond any limits that we set, but still, they should exist. <laughs> limits should exist so that I can break them. What kind of music did we make, Mar uh, Dinks? What kind of music did we make last night? Was it the music of our bodies pressed together? Wait, what? Just writing for my recital. Oh, okay, that's less exciting than our bodies pressed together. Wait, what? Is it stretch time? Yo, it's stretch time, chat. Holy shit. That was good. It's stretch time. Big stretch time. It's our first stretch time on the channel. Get out of your chair if you're in a chair. Do a little stretch. I'm going to stretch my hip flexors, which is always the thing that gets tight. Which is on the front of your hips. It's stretch time. Woo. Uh, the music of our bodies together is tonight, Dinks. There you go. There you go. It's tonight. Oh my god, they literally get so fucking tight.
Hip flexor is a thing that runs on the front of your hip and gets super tight, especially if you spend a ton of time sitting in chairs. Guess what I've done? Um, uh, literally, it's all I've done during the pandemic is sit in a chair. All right, guys, here's the plan. To get level 40, we're going factory, and we're killing six players with our shotgun. We're going balls to the wall factory. Nope, shit. Go back. I need to ensure. I did just notice a typo in our in our stretch break. There we go. I think I fixed it. If you kiss the player, do they join your side? Why kill them? Uh, I've never tried kissing a player in Tarkov, Dinks. I could try it, you know? We could try it. Actually, Connor, I did know that about the uh, about the place in Britain. Um, we've actually talked about that on stream before. Yeah. The place on Britain in Britain called the, with a Welsh name. You guys ready for me to say it? Lanfair Plingwinglgogrok Wernrob Williams to show the Gogogogrok. Their place. That place. Yeah, we're gonna kill them because they deserve it, Dinks. If they deserved a kiss, we'd give them a kiss, but they don't deserve a kiss. They've been mad. They've been bad Russian boys. These players we're trying to kill. Some of them are American boys, but they've all been bad boys. We're killing them all. I've been bad too, so I also deserve to die. But give them the kiss of death with my sh with your shotgun. Look at this fucking shotgun I'm pulling too. It's got a silencer on the end. It's about as long as the gun itself. Oh my god, kiss of death. <laughs> I think Connor, we watched a video of a person, uh, of a person pronouncing that the name the 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 place. I think I watched it like twice actually. All right, we're in chat. It's go time. Factory. I need to kill six players with my shotgun. I'm not gonna get all six during this game because there's only like four others max. Exactly, Connor. Yes, a news presenter on Channel Four News. Yep. That exact video. All right, level 40 or bust. I have to reload real quick. Okay, they'll be right to my left. If they're here. Yep, he's right there. I hit him. He broke my, he broke something. He broke my arm. Okay, Chad, it's go time. What if you get murdered by scabs like you usually do? Yeah, I'm not going to survive that long. All right, we're going to take a peek. I don't know that he knows that I'm here. I don't know if he knows that I'm here. I think he's still there. I think I just heard something. Ryan's so quiet and focused right now. All I hear is my sister's Spanish class. <laughs> yep, he's there. 
<laughs> Suck it, friend. Let's go. We got him. All right, cool. Um, There might be another person here. No. Is that door openable? It is. All right, we're going to loot him and get out, actually. Um, grab that. Put it down there. We got him, chat. Let's go. Loot everything we can. Connor says, by the way, are you going to keep calling the man Courier 6B out of spite for getting it wrong the first time? In, uh... Yes. In Fallout? Oh, shit. He shot me in the head so fast. I should have got out. Tislan says, Victoria, thank you for the gift. Hi, Tislan. How's it going? Yeah, shout out to Victoria. Thank you so much for, uh, for thanking, uh, for thanking her, Tislan. All right, we got one. That's fine. Uh, we also got some experience. That's 900 experience closer to um, our 48,000 that we need today. He shot us exactly once in the head, and that's all that she wrote, but that's fine. Do, 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 do. That's fine. We take, it, we take an L there, but also we, in some ways, get a W, which is we got one kill. Um, that's all that we really needed. One kill is great, because I'm probably going to die a couple times here before uh, we go out. So, uh, Cool. Got that. That's great. Hi, Panda. How's it going? My brother just had me proof read a legal proposal he's putting forth. Nice, dude. How did it go? Did you find anything, uh, find anything wrong with it? Uh, put that on. That on. Already got a helmet. Cool. Look at that. That proofreading, proofreading process. Mm -mm -mm. This is the one that cannot have the thing. So we're just going to go ahead and sell that one. Um, we're keeping that stuff, keeping that stuff. It goes in here. My brother does not know that commas exist. Mm. And also incorrectly uses them, I'm imagining, or just doesn't use them at all. <laughs> That's no bueno. No bueno. All right. Um, it's a big problem in legal papers. Uh, in my experience in English, it is uh, it is usually a problem. Not a problem that they don't exist, but it's a problem that uh, they're used more frequently than they should be. Uh, yeah. Like for most of the proofing that I do, um, and for like most of the stuff... Like, in general, so this is not in the legal world, but in general, most of the stuff that, uh, most of the proofing I've ever done is either knows, uses no commas at all, or uses a comma every time they want to signify that, like, a breath has been taken, <laughs> instead of, uh, like, when a comma is actually called for. There we go. Got that. Got that. Cool. Oh, yeah. Both are... Both are... Uh, both definitely happen, though. I think it, it, it comes from the, like, the... Either I'm not confident enough to know when to use a comma, so I don't use them at all. Or I am... Confident that I need a comma, but I don't know exactly how to use it. And so I'll chuck it in there where it maybe makes sense. Maybe doesn't. I think that's generally the, uh, the route, you know? <laughs> exactly, Connor. I have a whole life. You've never, you've never, uh, you've never known. All right, we go again. We go again. I should really, I really think it's dumb of me to be trying to load my gun in the raid. I should just load it beforehand just in case. Here we go. We have so much money these days because we've uh, been working on our Bitcoin farm. Cool. Round number two. 
He was listing stuff and using semicolons. It's something I haven't seen before, not to my memory. Listing stuff and using semicolons. If there's commas used, and you probably know this, Panda, but if there are commas used inside of the items which you are listing for clarity's purpose, then you use semicolons instead of commas where you would delineate the list. It's probably a thing you know already, but... Shush, Ryan, we don't talk about that? I don't know what you're talking about, surprise. I don't know what you're talking about. I used definitely... I used to definitely use way too many commas. Yeah. Yep. I did too, for sure. That's actually most of the proofreading stuff that I... Most of the freelance stuff that I do right now um, is getting rid of commas or adding commas. Most of it. So here's a good example. Uh, use a semicolon between items in a list or a series if any of the items contain commas. So... Shit, never mind. Fuck, it's time to go. It's time to go. We gotta kill this person. Ah! That was a really quick load in time. Wow. All right, we gotta go kill at least one person. At least one person. We gotta go poop on some kids. Then we can talk about commas some more. <laughs> okay, this is a great spawn for this. Oh, I forgot the fucking sight on it again. I got him. I just killed him. One shot. One kill. I don't even have a sight on my gun and I killed him. Let's go. Let's go. Easy money. He had like nothing on him. Do you defecate on children uh, regularly? Yeah, yeah. It's one of my hobbies actually. Nice side, it's super clean, super clear. Yeah, it's uh, can't you tell where I'm aiming exactly? All right, sometimes there can be a player right here. No player. So, we're going to go up to office. Up there. Oh, I don't have my grenade. Oh my god. <laughs> he called me an asshole. We're so fucking dead. We're so fucking dead, by the way. I missed him. I whiffed. I just whiffed. Damn. Alright, we got one. It's all that matters. <laughs> oh, I got killed by a guy I get a guy's name that was just all underscores. Um you dumb cunt, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I uh, I hit him once. It says fatal hit. Wait a second. Oh, the second guy I killed was also a player. I thought that was a scav. Okay. So we got two kills. Let's go, dude. We're hitting level 40 today. It's not, it's only a thousand experience, but completing the quest that we're on gets us a lot. Let's go. Let's go. So surprise, are you going to play some, uh, some Valorant with us this weekend? Anyways, what we were saying about commas is this. The great way to play, the, the correct time to use a semicolon in a list is like this sentence. There are basically two ways to write, and then you begin the list. With a pen or pencil, which is inexpensive and easily accessible, since it has a comma in the item, you then use a semicolon to clarify, or by computer and printer, which is uh, more expensive but quick and neat. It also has a comma in the second item too. 
The Pythagorean comma is interesting. What's that? Pythagorean comma? If I Google this, is this going to be some weird porn? Is this going to be some weird sex position? It's music? Oh my god. Did that just say a Pythagorean ligma? Healthcare workers, namely nurses, judicial officers, teachers. Is how he used it? Did you did you correct it, Panda? What was your what was your proof? I've had enough uh, English today, Ryan. Is the small interval existing in Pythagorean tuning between two inharmonically equivalent notes such as C and B sharp flat? I fuck fine, I did. Oh my god, music makes my music make me lose control. Music make me lose control. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, okay. Well, there was death number two. <laughs> we go again. Uh, Alright. Now I need to buy a good gun. Or a shotgun. I said it's more common for the commas to be before, namely, and replace the semicolons with commas. Yeah. I think he might want a colon instead of a semi instead of a comma before. But I don't know. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Alright, let's buy a shotgun. Um Yeah, I don't think he probably needs commas in the, uh, depending on the sentence, I don't think he probably needs commas in the actual list. MP133 or MP153. Mm, I think we want the MP133. All right, cool. Hi, Jamie Daddy. Connor says all caps. Let's go. Are we t really talking about the Pythagorean comma? We are Mars. And by we, we mean Dinks is talking about it and the rest of us don't understand it. Or at least I don't. Mm. There you go, Connor. Blech. Swag. Swag, swag, swag. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to load this with that. Load that with that. Put that there. Chuck that there. Repair this. And go from there. Uh, we need more ammo. Good, beautiful, great. Chuck that there. And we want to sell all that stuff as well. Thanks. Can we have music theory Thursdays and just chat music theory? Tell me, tell me the, uh, tell me the dumb explanation, the explanation to a dumb person of what a Pythagorean comma is in music. Cause I tried to read the Wikipedia page and I didn't try that hard, but I did not succeed either. So. You know, sure didn't succeed. Um, yeah, for sure. Panda for sure. Like you don't know what the, uh, you don't know what the norm is in terms of in terms of the world you're proofing for. Oh, Spriggit, let's go. Thank you for the 100 bits. I forgot, guys. I was in the raid trying to hear what happened in the uh, 
on that one part. So I turned my headphone volume up to twice the usual sound. And that cheer sound just made me piss myself. <laughs> oh my god. Spriggan, thank you for the, t the 100 bits. Wow. Oh, that's... <laughs> Whew. Headphones are working. Headphones are working really well, I would say. Really, really well. Working just fine today. Hi, Spriggan. Thank you for the 100 bits. How's your day going? Are you in the office today? Music make you lose control. Music make you lose control. I gotta buy a couple heals because I'm taking lots of damage. Nope. I need an eye. Fact personal tactical first aid kit. There we go. 100 bits and a heart attack. I had to come in to get a laptop. Gotcha. <clears throat> Imagine if Brian would have said something as well. I know. It would have made me actually. Heading home now. Going to have the stream on in the background. Sounds fantastic, Spriggy. Yeah. I'm glad you're headed home. Glad you don't have to stay there the entire time. Um. Okay. That's a much more usable level right there. Okay, so dumb version. Ooh. Say Teresa note well, call it H and Teresa another note say Y and they both are the same though they have different names. The Pythag comma is the idea that Teresa thing that exists between those two equal notes. Okay. Okay. What exists between them? Is it a, is this like, the, is this some imaginary number shit we're doing right here? Uh, Dink says I was typing one up too. Yeah, you guys are doing the, uh, I love, one of my absolute favorite, uh, one of my absolute favorite things to ask people to do in the, in the real world is, alright, explain this as if I was a third grader. Because it's such a, like, uh, like you're talking to a five-year-old, explain this. It's such a, it's such a, like, uh, a good test. Um, and so far that makes sense to me, Mars. I'm gonna ask the five-year-old question, which is like, well, what could exist between two equal notes, you know, like... Uh, but what's what's between it, you know? But and so I would give you a ten out of ten on explaining it to a fifth grader. So long as it's right, I have no idea if it's right. Uh Panda says, speaking of writing, another one of my articles got published today. Let's go. Was this one of the mental health ones, Panda? What was the what was the subject? Congrats. That's awesome. I can talk to a nine year old right now. Connor's like, I'll go just talk to my fucking brother, you know? <laughs> talk to my fucking brother. Then I'd have to explain Pythagorean tuning and, and harmonics and yeah, that's the word I stumbled I, I stumbled on earlier. Mars was in harmonics. I was that's the one on the Wikipedia page where I was like, nope, get me out of here. I think you did perfectly. I don't know if you did perfectly, but I think you might have. I don't know. Music make you lose control. Music make you lose control. Let's go. Hey. Some notes are the same but written differently, D sharp and E flat, and on a piano they'd be the same, but because of physics all notes are out of tune, and so the Pythagorean comma is the slight difference in tuning in the two notes that are written the same but technically different. Because of tuning? No, because of physics? All notes are out of tune on a piano, and so the Pythagorean comma, I meant, on, I meant out of tune on a piano? Okay, okay. Slight difference of tuning, in tuning in the two notes that are written the same and technically different. Okay. Interesting. I love it. Thank you for the five bits as well, by the way. I got a, I got a Pythagorean music comma lesson and also, a, and also a cheer read into my ears, which is lovely. I have an idea. Sounds great, Mars. Panda says it was on mental health awareness. Submitting another one on mental health for teens, 26. Cool, cool, cool. Nice, dude. Let's go, Panda. Did you talk to Rebecca about the strawberry potato chips? I did. Oh, I didn't put a fucking sight on this shit. Uh-oh. I did. Thank you, Seb. Okay. We're gonna sit right here. Volume going back up. Please don't break, break please don't break my ears, chat. You guys like this sight? Can't see anything. I keep forgetting to put sights on my guns. It's possible somebody's down at the end of this hallway. So I'm waiting to hear. Surprise is going through his sarcasm phase. Joe says, gonna be honest, none of what you guys said makes sense. 
<laughs> Seb, I think she's gonna send me some strawberry chips when she uh we sh when she can afford to uh, send a package. If you want to, just bully Rebecca into letting me pay for it because I really did not mean to make Rebecca pay for it and I'm trying to bully her into letting me pay for it. But uh, I don't know that she's going to listen to me. All right, nobody's coming. We're going to go check, see if nobody's here. Oh, buddy. Did I hit him? I don't think I hit him. I should have put a sight on the gun. Should have put a sight on the gun, you guys. Chad the man. Wrecking your bum. I did hit him. Damage absorbed by armor 20, 141. So basically, what I what happened is I shot him in the armor. He had great armor. I did a little bit of damage, but not, a, not enough. But I hit my one shot. So I hit my one shot. What can you do in that situation? Not a damn thing. If I'd have had a sight on, I could have hit him in the head. That that's the uh that's the real goal. Hit him in the head. I gotta get a I gotta get a sight on this next gun. Joe, how's your day going by the way? Um Surprise proved your point, by the way, Panda. Panda's like surprise is going through a horny phase. Surprise is like, alright. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Panda's like surprise is going through a sarcasm phase. Surprise is like, alright, bet. <laughs> How's this for a sarcasm phase? I need this mount. I'm gonna buy three of them. And then for that mount, I need uh, the one that goes right here, the Cobra. Go ahead and buy three. And then I need a bunch of the silencer parts. This one, it's by three, it's by two. And then for that, I need the actual silencer. There we go. And there we go. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna have T now. Au revoir. Au revoir, Connor. Au revoir. See you, man. Enjoy. Uh, let's do that. That. Chuck that in there. That right there. Hmm. <laughs> Panda, that does have a couple different meanings there. I'm glad you picked the. Uh, I'm glad you picked the phrasing you did. It's probably the safer phrasing. Oh shit. Uh, have that. Cool. Yeah, we'll put this face shield on. We'll put the face shield on. That'd be fun. Let's make it math. On a piano, Teresa note B and C. In reality, F1 G2. On a piano, since it is imperfect, F.98 and G2.12. Oh, In Brian. perfect nature, F sharp would be 1.5 and G flat would be 1. Point <laughs> it's okay, Mars. It makes sense either way. It makes sense uh, either way. That makes uh, that makes the same sense to me that Dinks has made sense to me, which is, I would say, as much as it could. So, um. Yeah, there's the math uh, explanation. I love it. I love it. It also is funny because Brian didn't read the equal signs and stuff. So, uh, so, uh, it just sounds kind of funny hearing him be like, F98, F.98, G.2.12. That's the voice he says, by the way. Um, let's buy a couple troopers. I love it. Pythagorean commas. You learn something every day, chat. You learn something every goddamn day. We're spending money like we earned it, by the way. Spending money like we fucking earned it. Um, That's all chill. We have the gun. Let's go kill some bitches. Hey, hey, let's go kill some. How are we doing on the quest? Let's take a look. Quest, we need... 
Three more kills. Three more kills. I liked it, Dink says. I like it too. I like it. That's a seventh grade explanation. Hi, Rebecca. How's it going? A little into Megs in the chat. Hello, Rebecca. Hi. We were just talking about you, Rebecca. And by we were just talking about you, I said, hey, guys, let's bully Rebecca into letting me pay for the package of Swedish treats that I would like for her to send to me. Because I wanted, I wanted to pay Seb, but then Seb put it onto you. And so I want to pay for it. So let me pay for it. Um, that's all. How's it? How's it going? Dings posted a photo of uh, of this like weird d strawberry daiquiri flavored potato chip, and something about I just love strawberries. I guess something about it was like, ooh, ooh. Wait, did I say Dinks? Uh oh, did I say Dinks? I meant Seb. Did I say Dinks? My bad. I meant Seb in my head. I literally thought I said Seb. My apologies. It was not Dinks. It was it was Seb. Sometimes this happens when I'm talking about community members, but I'm looking at somebody else's name in the chat. Sometimes I'm trying to tell a story and also catch up on chat at the same time because you guys know that I suck it at reading chat, so I have to take all the time I can to do it. Um. I'm not going to forbid you to do it, do so, but it's probably easier if I paid it because I don't know what to, I'd do with PayPal money. Oh, shoot. Is your PayPal not like it's attached okay, to your bank, Ryan, Rebecca? You don't have to say community members, just say fans. Community members it is. No, it's definitely community members. 